folks, and welcome to the Viper end user walkthrough. We're going to be taking a look at what an end user sees as they go through their console. As you can see here, here's a typical inbox from an end user customer. You can see the reports have come through. Clicking through to those reports will show the spam report. On the spam report, you have many options available. You're going to see anything classified from bulk to high threat, medium threat, or low threat. As you can see here, this will show you the from, the subject, the type, the date that it arrived, and you can do several actions immediately from the email, such as preview, such as allow and release. You can also change certain settings, such as time zone and language, directly from here. As you can see, if you click the preview button, it will show you the email in its entirety, so that we can decide whether you're going to release this and allow it, you're going to see several options available in here, such as help, when it was received, the to, the from, the subject, and the basic message content. Certain images are going to be hidden based in this format. Each day, or depending on the time that the admin has set to send your quarantine message out, will be the daily release of your email quarantine messages. However, if you do want to look at the last 90 days worth of quarantine, you can certainly log in. You go to email.myviper.com. You can go ahead and log in as your user account at that point. Logging in is going to reveal several other additional pieces of information, such as your continuity, your quarantine, if you have archiving enabled from your admin, your allow and deny, any files that you have that are waiting on the large file handling. Clicking on the quarantine, is going to show you the last 90 days worth of emails. By adjusting the time scale here, you're able to see messages that have come through and you can continue to review them. You're also able to adjust the from, the to, the subject, the size, adjusting your categories, any statuses. You can refresh it. Any messages you no longer wish to see, you can select and delete. You can also release from here. You can immediately add to the allow and deny, or you can report a false positive. Under your continuity tab, if you do ever have an outage situation, you're able to send and receive emails from the Viper Email Security Console. Simply hit the Compose button, and you can be able to continue to write a message with the two, the subject, any attachments, and type up your body. Once the outage has come to an end, all of these messages will appear in your inbox. Under your allow and deny, clicking the allow list will show you any addresses that have been added to the allow list. You can certainly edit these by clicking any of them, clicking delete. You can add additional ones or IP addresses or domains. Same thing applies on the deny list. You can certainly add any additional items to the deny list for email addresses or domains or IPs you no longer wish to see. Going to my files tab will reveal any large files that have come through if your admin has large file handling enabled. Your quarantine report settings can be controlled by your admin. If they've given you permission to edit those, you will be able to edit those in here as well. Thanks for joining us today on the end user walkthrough of the Viper email security quarantine message constant.